begin, what is rabies? Rabies is a vaccine-preventable viral disease that can infect domestic and wild animals. This can be spread to humans. It attacks central nervous system and eventually makes its way to the brain. Without proper care, it can be extremely lethal. The most common wild animal carriers of rabies are raccoons, skunks, bats, foxes, and coyotes. Domestic mammals such as cats and dogs can also get rabies. Rabies is present on all continents except Antarctica. Over 95% of human deaths occur in continents Asia and Africa. Since the 1900s, the number of deaths from rabies in North America has fallen from 100 or more each year to just one or two cases. Much of the decline dates from the 1940s when vaccinations and animal control programs were set up. In the early 1940s, there are about 40 cases each year, and within the past decade, a mere 23 cases of human rabies has been reported. So, the real question is, how do I get the rabies virus? Humans can pick up the rabies virus when they are bitten by an animal that is infected with rabies. To be infectious with rabies, the virus must be present in the saliva of the animal. But how can the virus make it to the saliva? When an animal is bitten, the rabies virus attaches to the nerve cell around the area of the bite. The virus is then able to use these cells to travel to the central nervous system, which is the spine in the brain. Once reaching the central nervous system, the virus replicates and migrates to other tissues and organs including the salivary gland. When the virus reaches the saliva, a bite is able to transmit the virus to another animal. The good thing is that you won't always get rabies when an animal bites you because not all animals carry the rabies virus. Also, if an animal with rabies does bite you, there is still a chance that you won't get infected because there is a 15% transmission rate. However, make sure you see your doctor. Other things to consider is that the development of rabies is influenced by the concentration of the virus in the saliva of the infected animal, the number of bites, and the distance of the bite from the head. Increased concentrations of the virus seen in later stages of the disease and more bites causes more virus to enter the human, increasing the probability of developing rabies. Having a bite closer to the head also increases the probability as the virus doesn't have to move as far to get to the brain. Anyone exposed to unvaccinated animals are at a greater risk for contracting rabies. People at greater risk include international travelers with occupational risks such as veterinarians and wildlife professionals, animal control officers, and children because they often play with animals, might not report the bites, and are more likely to get bitten above the head and neck. So how do you know if you have rabies? In humans, there are five disease stages of the rabies virus. There's incubation, which is the period between the exposure to an infection and the appearance of the first symptoms. Then there's prodrome, which is essentially when the early symptoms begin to show. Then there's the acute neurologic period, which is the height of the symptoms. Then there's coma and death, or rarely recovery. The average incubation period is 30 to 60 days, but it may range from less than 10 days to several years. Gradually, however, the affected individual becomes extremely ill, developing a variety of symptoms including high fever, confusion, agitation, and eventually seizures and coma. Typically, people with rabies develop irregular contractions and spasms of the breathing muscles in response to various stimuli. Eventually, the various organs of the body are affected. However, if you have been bitten by an animal and you are worried you may have the virus, don't fret just yet, there is available treatment. After speaking to a doctor, a person suspected to have contracted rabies will immediately undergo treatment of the wound as well as vaccine therapy. First, a fast-acting shot, rabies immune globulin, as administered, which prevents the virus from infecting you. A series of rabies vaccines are then administered to help your body learn to identify and fight the rabies virus. Rabies vaccines are given as injections in your arm and you receive four injections over 14 days. If possible, the animal involved will be quarantined and observed for a period of 10 days. 
If the animal remains healthy after this time, it did not carry the rabies virus and treatment can be discontinued. Thanks for watching! For more videos, check out the Demystifying Medicine YouTube channel.